Cosa sono le microplastiche? Le microplastiche, come dice la parola, sono delle plastiche ridotte in piccolissimi frammenti. Eh, la plastica è un materiale universale eh, che ha mille qualità e proprio le sue qualità, viste dall'altra parte della medaglia, diventano dei difetti. La plastica è resistente, dura nel tempo, galleggia, è sterile, però se ci pensate eh, non si degrada mai. La plastica per azione delle temperature, per azione della, dei raggi ultra, ultravioletti, quindi tende a degradarsi, ma a degradarsi, a rompersi, a frammentarsi in pezzi sempre più piccoli e quando i pezzi sono piccoli non si scioglieranno mai in acqua, quindi eh, una volta che arrivano purtroppo a mare attraverso i fiumi da terra eh, le plastiche persistono nell'ambiente e quindi vanno a finire in tutti i posti possibili e immaginabili, quindi possono essere mangiate da degli, de, degli animali, quindi dai pesci, dai uccelli eh, e quindi anche dall'uomo.
every year millions of tons of litter end up in the marine environment worldwide, including the Mediterranean and the Adriatic seas. Marine litter is found lying on shores, floating anywhere from the surface to the bottom of the sea, even in the most pristine environments far away from any human settlements. Marine litter in our region comes mainly from land-based practices, such as, for example, tourism and recreational activities, inadequate waste management at all stages, or discharge of untreated municipal sewage. But sea-based activities can also be important sources of marine litter, such as fishing and shipping or aquaculture fisheries. Marine litter poses a threat to wildlife and ecosystems, with impacts varying from entanglement and ingestion, to bioaccumulation and biomagnification of toxics, released from litter items, facilitation of introduction of invasive species, damages to benthic habitats and communities. Marine litter has negative impacts on vital economic sectors as well, such as fisheries, aquaculture, navigation and tourism, while it may endanger human health and safety.
one of our great ambitions for our uh, the fish gear project is that this project can be let, can serve as a pilot project for the implementation of the regional action plan is a, a clear example of a sub-regional collaboration with regards to marine litter monitoring and uh, also with regards to, to sort of formulating uh, recommendations that should be picked up by policymakers in order to address and the issues related to marine litter. So actually the overarching aim of work package 4 and 5 is to facilitate the efforts of policymakers and stakeholders in effectively dealing with the issue of marine litter in the Adriatic macro region. And having said that, I would like to stress that the fish gear is not yet another research project where the outcomes are going to be hidden away in a drawer or something like that. The idea is that all the outcomes, results, outputs of this project are going to serve decision makers. So basically we're working on the uh, science uh, policy interface.